Good morning, good afternoon or good, e good evening, depending on when you have tuned in with us. Um, I feel as if we're here again um, and I get another opportunity to speak to you as S1 parents online and not face to face. And I'm hoping that the recent message from the First Minister is positive and that it might not be before long that I get an opportunity to meet you face to face. But the purpose of the, the video just now is um, just an introduction to the personalisation and choice exercise that your children will be going through in the next few weeks. You will be aware of the survey that Mrs Brady had put out on Teams and also on the website. Just checking in with you to see whether in the current climate it was a good idea for us to continue with personalisation and choice with young people in S1 going into S2. Um, a whopping 90% of you decided that yes, even in the current climate, it would be important that your son and daughter continue to make progress in their learning in the usual way that we do in the Holyrood curriculum. So we are now starting the process of personalisation and choice and that will start with the tracking report that is coming home to you soon. Uh, even although it's a small personalisation and choice exercise, it does mark the beginning of the specialisation of the curriculum that your child is following, so it is important for them. The personalisation and choice exercise is very limited. Um, right now, young people study three expressive arts and through the personalisation and choice, they will choose two out of three of those expressive subjects. They will also choose two out of four of the technologies they study and two out of the three social subjects that they study. In addition to the two subjects that they've selected in all of those curricular areas, they will also get an opportunity to study one more subject. That allows young people to study all of the subjects in a particular area that they may be gifted in or indeed an area that they enjoy. Mrs Brady will speak to you a bit more about the personalisation and choice exercise, about how this will be communicated to your children and of course how they will be able to select their subjects. And then after that, Miss Cook and Miss Gray will speak to you about the support that's been offered to your children during this time of personalisation and choice and of course during this time of an extended lockdown. I am really hoping that it won't be long before I see your sons and daughters back in school with us. We're missing them, the school is not the same without them and I really want them back with us soon. And for you, I really do hope that next year we will get an opportunity to meet in person, both for our information evenings and for parents evenings. Until then, thank you again for all your support this year. Thank you for everything that you're doing to support your child in their learning and in their journey here in Holyrood, albeit at home at present. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Good afternoon, first year. I just want to say hello to you and me and the first year team want to let you know how much we miss you and how school's not the same without you. Can I welcome you to our S1 personalisation and choice um, evening? Um, this is an important decision that you're going to have to make and it's the first of five personalisation and choices that you will make whilst you're on your learner journey right throughout Holyrood. Um, just a wee piece of advice, Miss Gray and Miss Cook will give you some additional information that will help you make those decisions. But to recap on what you have to do is that you choose two from creative arts, music, art and drama. You choose two from social subjects, modern studies, geography and history. And you choose two from technologies, which is technology, home economics, computing and business and then you can choose one other subject. One of the most important things I will say to you is to make sure you do not choose the same subject twice. The information about where to get the forms that you fill in and all those details will be posted um, as well. It will be posted on your Teams page and it will be posted on the school website so that you've got easy access to it. We're hoping that this will be finished within a couple of weeks and if you've got any questions at all, you have our email addresses and the school phone number and we can get in touch with you as soon as possible. So please don't worry, this is something to look forward to. It's quite an exciting time where you're taking ownership of your learning and please use this in conjunction with your tracking report that should be out with you hopefully by the end of this week. Um, so take care. Enjoy making your choices once we've posted all the details and hopefully it won't be too long till we see you again. 
Hi boys and girls, I am Miss Grey and I'm responsible for S1A through to G and I'm Miss Cook and I'm responsible for pastoral groups 1H to 1P um, and today we're here to speak to you a little bit about um, the sports that we put in place for you and making your curricular choices for S2. Now this is quite an exciting time because even though you're making short small changes to your um, subjects it's quite exciting because you get the opportunity to have some ownership over your own learning which is a really exciting time for you. We want to equip you with the skills to make informed decisions about what you choose here. Now there is different things that you can do before you decide. First of all you want to think about the things that you are good at and that you enjoy because if you like them you're more motivated to work hard within them. You also could use your tracking report that's going to be coming out so you can look at the subjects that you're achieving really well in and then you obviously have a bit of skill and flair within that area and you might want to continue to build upon that foundation. Um, also, if you've maybe looked at your tracking report and there's some subjects that you really enjoy but you've maybe not performed in best this year, please don't worry about that. If you still want to pick it, then you can, but just use this opportunity to really focus on um, challenging yourself within that subject and really focusing on aiming so high um, because you've all got the potential to do so well. As Ms Cook said, we do want you to be aspirational learners and we want you to start thinking about career pathways nice and early. There is a great opportunity available for you to engage with a website that's called My World of Work. Within that, you can put in things that you enjoy, you could do personality tests and they could give you some careers and some subject ideas that might help lead you to already aspiring pathways that you want for a future. However, don't worry if you're worried about it, that is exactly why we are here. We are here to support you 100% of the way and we'll put uh, information on our S1 Year Group Teams page for the My World of Work website. We're all missing you so much at school and you know that we're here for you if you need any advice. If parents need any advice then please do get in touch with us. Our um, email address is on the school website and through all of our pastoral group Teams pages. We're really missing you as I said so much. School is not the same without you um, and we look forward to hopefully seeing you very very soon. Please continue to engage as much as you can with our team's pages. Please attend all the assemblies if you can. If you have problems, we are super approachable. You can talk to us at any time, phone us at any time. We are always here for you. But boys and girls, we are completely missing you and lost without you.